Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday, and welcome to another virtual shakeout. Oh, my name is Hannah, um, and I am teaching you guys for these videos. First of all, I hope you guys are staying warm because it has been so, so cold. Like, seriously, guys, make sure you're bundling up every time you go outside. <laughs> So as usual, we are going to start off with an activity before we jump into our story. We're going to be talking about heroes. So when you think of a hero, typically you'll think of a superhero, like Superman or Batman or Iron Man or also Wonder Woman or maybe Black Widow. So when we think of a hero, there's usually certain attributes or characteristics we think about when we think of a superhero. For instance, maybe we think of super speed, or maybe we think of super strength, or maybe we think of bravery, or maybe we think of someone who's super smart. We can also think of someone who is like, very kind, but typically we think of some sort of superpowers, right? So while we usually picture someone with superpowers, heroes don't actually need superpowers to be heroes. Heroes can be people like firefighters or policemen or, or maybe you even think of your mom and dad as a hero. So today we are going to talk about what it takes to be a hero of faith. There's a lot of qualities that heroes of faith share with superheroes, but there's also a lot that are very different from superheroes. So lately we've been learning a lot about Paul and how he shared his faith in Jesus with everyone he's met. Today, we're going to remember back to the people we learned about in the Old Testament. They never met Jesus in person, but they had a great faith in God. So today, our Bible story takes place in Hebrews. Um, it's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, through chapter 12, verse 2. So you guys can feel free to open up in your Bibles and follow along with me, or just kind of listen to me as I read. So this story is called Heroes of Faith. In the book of Hebrews, we find a list of people who lived by faith. What is faith? Faith is being sure that what we hope for will actually happen. Faith is obeying God because we trust Him. By faith, we believe that God created everything from nothing, just by speaking. Many people in the Bible had faith, and this pleased God. Abel had faith when he gave an offering to God, and God accepted his offering. We must have faith in order to please God. Because by faith, we believe that he exists and he rewards those who trust in him. Noah had faith too. He obeyed God by building an ark to rescue his family. Noah warned other people too because he trusted that God was telling the truth. God was pleased with Noah. Abraham had faith when God called him to leave his home. Abraham did not know where he was going, but he obeyed God. God made promises to Abraham, and Abraham believed that God was going to keep his promises. Abraham's wife Sarah also had faith. She trusted God to give her a family even though she was too old to have children. Sarah was 90, and Abraham was 100 when they had their first son Isaac. Abraham and Sarah went on to have many descendants. God gave them a family as numerous as the stars in the sky. Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses had faith. Rahab had faith when she hid the Israelite spies in Jericho. King, King David had faith too. All of these people trusted God and so did many, many others. However, sometimes having faith was not easy. Many of these faithful people suffered and all died before God's greatest plan came true, the arrival of Jesus. But they believed that God had a wonderful plan. God was pleased with them because they trusted him. We know that today God has a great plan. He kept his promise to send the Messiah, his own son, Jesus, to rescue people from sin. Jesus gives us faith. We can look to him because in him, all of God's promises will come true. So you guys might have recognized a lot of the heroes mentioned in today's Bible story. They're people we've talked about in stories in the past. Throughout the Old Testament, God used men and women to work out his plan to send Jesus to rescue us from sin. Each person mentioned in this list today lived by faith. What do you guys think it means to live by faith? So the Bible teaches us that faith is being confident in what you hope will happen. To live by faith means obeying God even in very difficult times. A person who lives by faith won't just say that they trust God. They'll also show it through their actions. We have faith because we know that God is all-powerful 
and will accomplish his wonderful plans no matter what. So some quick questions to kind of recap what we were learning about. So the first one is, how did Noah have faith? Noah had faith that God would really send a flood. So he obeyed God and built a huge ark. How did Abraham have faith? Abraham had faith that God would grow his family to bless the entire world. How did Sarah have faith? Sarah had faith that she would have a baby, even though she was too old to have a baby. How did Rahab have faith? Rahab hid the Jewish spies in Jericho because she had faith that God would give the city to his people. She also had faith that God would save her family. Now guys, is it always easy to have faith? No. Sometimes it can be incredibly difficult to have faith, but it's possible because we know that God keeps his promises. When we have faith, we can show it with our actions. So we're going to return to our big picture question and answer. So our question is, how do we live while waiting for Jesus to return? And the answer is, we remember God's truth. We grow in godliness and spread the gospel. So just like the people we heard about in today's Bible story, we should live in faith, remember that God keeps his promises, continue to live like Christ, and tell others the good news about Jesus. The Bible gives good examples of people who had faith, but the true hero of the Bible is Jesus. Jesus looked forward to the joy that would come because of the cross. Because of Jesus, the things that faithful people in the Bible looked forward to will come true. We know that Jesus will come back one day because God always keeps his promises. All right, now boys and girls, we're going to move on to our key passage. So we've been talking about this passage for the past couple weeks as well. So let's see if you guys can remember it. So again, this is from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. God has breathed life into all scripture. It is useful for teaching us what is true. It is useful for correcting our mistakes. It is useful for making our lives whole again. It is useful for training us to do what is right. So today's story comes out of the book of Hebrews. We aren't sure who exactly wrote the book of Hebrews, but we know that all scripture is inspired by God and is completely true. God is a part of all stories in the Bible. They all happened and God made sure they were all written down for us to read and live our lives by. So what can we take from today's lesson? First, you don't need superpowers to be a hero. You can be a hero in the faith. What does being a hero in the faith mean? It means to live your life for Jesus and to obey God in all that you do. When we're living our lives for Jesus, we want to make sure that everything we do is God-honoring. All right, guys, I'm going to quickly pray for you. God, thank you so much for the Bible and its amazing examples of faithful people. Lord, help us to be more like those faithful people and help us live our lives for you, Lord. We pray that each and every day we would strive to be more and more like you, Lord. We pray that we would honor you in everything we do and give you glory, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me again this week. I look forward to seeing you in the future, and I pray that you have a great rest of the week.